Hello, everybody. Welcome to Elfion's Corner. My name is Elf, and today we're going to be playing some games that are not usually on the catalog. Hello from Mr. Figaro over here. Look at this little boy. He's just a baby. I just watched an Instagram video that was like, how to tell your cat's age if you're a little worried. Under a year, just a baby. One to three years, just a baby. Four to eight years, just a baby. And nine plus, a little old, but still just a little baby. And that's exactly what Figaro is. Newton too. Newton's just a baby. Newton's 12 years old. It's kind of crazy to think about sometimes. So we're not going to go there. Have I said enough? Um, let me close this over here so we can talk about today's game a little bit. So it's a game called um, The Wolf Among Us. And it's a, I was watching some streams of people playing choice making games and I was like, dang, I haven't played a choice game in a little bit. So I think it's time to jump back in and see what choices we can make. And this one's kind of like fairy tales. So that's pretty exciting. I don't know which stories are involved, but I know Beauty and the Beast is one. I know that the, the wolf and the three little pigs might be one. You can see the wolf up here. He's up there. Um, so... Let's uh, see what this is all about. I don't know what to expect. Yo, by the way, Rogers Park today. So I live like upper Chicago area. It was crazy. Um, it was crazy out here. You check it out. Alrighty, folks. Let's jump on in. Okay. So the wolf among us. I might have to move my screen. I have to do this from time to time. Let me know if you can't or you can here, please. Also, I'm a little worried that my stream went in and out a second ago. Look at that. Yeah, it was up for four minutes and went down. All right. Oh my god, we're gonna do this. I love starting a new game. Just the vibes that you get. It's like, ah, here we go. <sighs> oh. Always check the settings first. Audio, video volume subtitles i guess we don't need to oh look at those eyes gameplay invert no selectables on um okay we'll look at extras i always do extra second start episode one start episode two What is this? Oh my god, I'm nervous! The story is tailored by how you play. <gasps> I might have to make my screen a little bit smaller over here. I guess I should move it up just a little bit. We're down here. Yeah, this is good. In the corner, where you belong. Once upon a time, there's a community of fairy tale characters known as Fableton. The fables who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago after they exiled from their homelands. Through the use of magic spell called Glamour, they have protected their secret community from the mundane world. Sheriff Big Boy Wolf protects them from each other. So Glamour. Ooh, I love a little glamour in my life. Say again if you missed it, a record for the date. Hottest ever in June, uh, 103 now. That humidity looks low, but remember, the hotter the air is, the more moisture it can hold. So 103 with 31% humidity is a lot more humid than, say, 73 with 31% humidity. Ooh. And it is muggy out there. Oh, whoa. I love this art style. I'm nervous. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, I love this art style. Like, this is cool. <gasps> Were the eyes supposed to be white there? Tenement building sometime after midnight. Mr. Toad? <laughs> Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. Oh, it's timed. No need to kick up a fuss. Uh, enough excusive to- I'm looking at a three-foot- a three-foot toad in a sweater. That's a problem. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Oh, silence is a valid option. Those animals. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spell goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? Mm. Then get it fixed. It's not complicated, Toad. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Oh no. Fuck you now. See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. So, what am I walking into it? Oh no, what to do? A woodsman's on another bender. He's been going on like that for hours. Turn this place to dust if you let him. He's in a fucking rage. Oh. This is the last straw, Big B. He has to go. <clears throat> Fine. I'm heading up. Get your glamour. Furry prick job shite. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, oh. the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get that fuck back inside. Oh! This is not Disney World. You're gonna know who I fucking am, you hear me? Hey, look at me. Let's go. Look at the metal book on the floor. Matchbook. Oh, look. I can't Take read. A good look. Know who I am now? Hey, look at me. Get off of me. Ah! The things you could pick up could be useful later. Oh, I'm gonna barge right in. Damn you! No way! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid? <gasps> <gasps> I'll fucking kill you! All right, everyone. <gasps> oh! What are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. The axe, Woody. This is your last warning. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. Oh! <clears throat> oh my gosh. What is that? He's gonna beat me up. What is this? Oh, 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 R2? Literally getting annihilated. Oh, 
that was a bad idea. I don't know which stick it is. It didn't tell me. Oh no! It must be the right stick. I don't like this. That could be game over. Woo! You should probably get out of here. Look. I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. I'll fucking put you in the ground. Say that word one more time. What? Bitch? What did I say? You fucker. Oh, fucking shit. You bogged my jaw, you bastard. And still you talk. Fuck. You. Oh, shit. What are you, doing, what are you here? doing here? These lips are sealed. Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. Come on, let's get this over with. Why was he hitting you? Maybe you should ask him that. I will, but I asked you first. He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hun? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved this little has been quite the opening from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch. Hey, what did I say? I said be nice or you wait out. Come on. <laughs> that might cost me later. By all means, take your time. Make yourself comfortable. Can I get you anything? Pillow, perhaps? Well, at least you're not fucking dead. Oh, no. No, I don't have to. What the heck am I playing? The Woodsman. The Woodsman is one of the few men who went toe to toe with Bigby in the Black Forest and lived to tell the tale. In an attempt to say but oh, Little Red Riding Hood, he split the great wolf's belly open with his axe, filled with filled them with full of rocks and threw the beast into the river. To his dismay, his popularity was faded, even his name. 
is forgotten. He is only known as the Woodsman. mention it. I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth? You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more from me. <laughs> I'll kill you. You fucking bitch. Let me help you. <gasps> oh! He's had enough. He's a fable. Son of a bitch can take plenty. I'm in love with this. These lips are sealed. Sorry. Hey, you like my ribbon? Beautiful. Thank you. I feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. Oh, crazy. Yes. Shit. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. He hit you. He needs to pay for that. He's got nothing to give, Sheriff, I checked. Besides, I just swung an axe into the guy's head. I'd say we're even. Maybe I should be arresting you. I'm not gonna be doing this for much longer. So, now's your chance. Was the OJ. Why do they have such chemistry? A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty handed. I'll be fine. Hmm. Let's see, I've got uh, 20, 47, 8, 58. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Just mm. take the money, okay? You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. <laughs> I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. I clean up okay. I'll believe it when I see it.
Hey. I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I'll see you around, Wolf. Is that Little Red Riding Hood? It must be. This art style is really cool. That was a really graphic opening though. Like, it was a lot. I'm gagged over this art. Oh. Luxury apartments. It's late. It's always late. Wonder if I could just go in. Why well, announce my entrance, right? Just gonna look. Stay off the grass. Sometimes be a disciplinarian. Who is it? There's no walking on the grass. No white's orders. She made a sign and everything. Snow White's orders. I'll be sure to send her an apology. Beauty. Hello, Big B. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd, but there's an explanation, I swear. Why'd you hide when I walked up? Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. No, can't. So suspicious. Damn it, I'm late. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Just please. Promise me. I don't have time to go into it right now. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. Oh, not responding is such a crazy option. It's not what you might be thinking. What was she doing here? This is Snow White's house? been here tell me let me look at everything I can first 
first. Been a while since I got any mail. Oh, I live here. Seventh day in a row. Oh my gosh, I feel nervous in my own home. Oh. Oh, Mr. and Mrs. Beast, she lives here. Damn thing fell off again. How much longer is this gonna go on? I don't know. <laughs> hey, you wink. Hmm. Probably for the best. Well, I guess the other thing I can do here. Hmm. I shouldn't feel this nervous like in my own home in this game, but I don't know why. Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen oh. Beauty? I'm staying out of it. Out of what? Whatever it is, Beast. I'm not a marriage counselor. Damn <gasps> it. Something's going on. I don't know. It just seems like trouble. If she doesn't want him to know, it's got to be for a reason. Do that with the uh with the tone of the phone so that no one can call. Or two? Damn it. Yep, don't put water in that. Let's just say that again tomorrow. <laughs> that's a that's such a pet peeve. Bluebeard's file. I took the Book of Fables. I got trophies. Hey, check it out. Welcome to Fableton. Complete chapter two. Of episode one. Oh, I see. Is Pretzel still playing? Oh. Oh, no, it's not. I just got so scared. Chapter four. Let's look at the Book of Fables. Who's this? Glamours. Glamours are spells that allow the user to change their appearance. They are expensive, but can be purchased by non-human fables in order to pass for humans among the Mundies. 
Cheap glamours can be found in the seedier parts of Fableton, but they are often unreliable and prone to sudden failure. Oh my gosh. The farm is home to fables who cannot pass as humans, giants, goblins, animals, etc. It's located in upstate New York, far enough away from the Mundies to avoid detection. Some of its residents resent their confinement to the farm, despite its size and comforts. To them, the farm is a prison. They would have, they would be allowed to leave the farm if they could purchase a glamour, but they don't have the money for something so expensive, though. Some, like Colin, sneak out into the city anyway. Colin. What do the crowns mean? Beauty and her husband, Beast, once lived in an enchanted castle, but they were forced to flee the homelands in the Exodus, leaving all of their wealth behind. Now they live in a modest studio in Fableton, New York. Though times are hard, with Beast working multiple jobs to pay the bills, the couple have the longest lasting relationship of all the fab fables. And I'm, I'm staying out of it. Beauty and his wife, Beast and his wife, Beauty, left everything behind when they escaped the homelands in the Exodus. Without his former wealth, Beast must pick up extra work to make ends meet. He is able to get around Fableton without a glamour most of the time, but if Beauty gets too angry with him because he becomes more beastly by the minute, growing horns and large teeth despite the occasional bickering, the two are truly in love and have the longest lasting relationship of anyone in Fableton. I like that they kept that canon that they are truly in love despite looks, because that would not that wouldn't sit well if it was not the case. Mr. Toad is a superintendent for a defunct tenement on the edge of Fableton proper. Because he's a three and a half foot talking amphibian, Toad is required by Fableton law to keep his family himself magically glamoured to appear human. The problem with is Toad isn't too concerned with what the law is and has to be reminded often. Fableton is a community located on Bullfinch Street in Manhattan's Upper West Side. To regular people or Mondays, Mondays are regular people. It appears to be an ordinary New York neighborhood, but it is really the home of fables from many worlds and within the business office at the Woodlands lies a massive cavern, a vast library, and hundreds of magical items of immense power. All non-human fables live upstate on the farm, an extension of Fableton. Bluebeard, wealthy scoundrel. Bluebeard managed to escape the homelands with his riches intact and continues to be one of the wealthiest fables in New York. The Fableton government depends on his generous contribu contributions, and he often uses his influence for his own benefit. As a former serial killer, he claims his days of decapitating his bride are over. Oh. But even if he was able to leave his violent ways in the homelands, that hasn't stopped him from making the occasional trip down Crooked Lane. Who is that? This is so cool. Colin. Oh, hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? I've only got the one. So, yeah. smoke oh. <laughs> thanks a couple thousand more of these we'll be even on that house you owe me oh this gotta stop you can't keep sneaking off the farm like this the fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Big B. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Calm down. I'm not sending you back. 
that for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. Mm. If that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. <laughs> it is better to be feared than loved. You know uh, who said that? Yeah, some sad asshole. Eating alone. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. What is the whole point of this? Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? <laughs> oh, Sometimes no. I take them to the farm. Fuck you. This guy's you in my house. Easy. You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Not everyone. Name one. Beauty. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I kept her from making a bad situation worse. Right. Yeah. That's real nice of you. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going The wheels yourself, are turning in my head I've right now. look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Just give sense. me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut-eye before I... Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Hmm. Thanks, Big B. Dang. Going to bed sober. As the BBW. No. What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? Just... Uh, slow down. No, keep up. We need to... Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. Who is this? These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Okay. What 
is that? Uh oh. This girl is she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She looks familiar. I can't place her though. I feel like there's something you're not telling me. No, I just don't know who she is. stepped in and he threatened to kill us both no you don't think he i don't think anything yet just give me a second it's just terrible so did you see anyone else no no one no cabs no voices mondays maybe but no i don't think so i would remember okay Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Oh gosh. Ribbon. A ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Hmm. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp or something with magic attached to it. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. And like the um, security guard what, was sleeping. What do you want to do next? We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. What is this? signs that it's been here long what is that scrap of fabric fabric looks like jeans doesn't tell me much hmm fence posts covered in blood yep more blood someone might have gotten caught on this climbing over the fence some loose trash blood still wet sharp enough okay so I can't go that way if I can go inside I'd appreciate that blood 
Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. It's gotta have something to do with the blood on the fence. Where are you going? Are we done? Uh, not yet. No, not yet. <gasps> Nobody there. I guess the other way. I'm sad, that was my friend. They had a really good scene. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? This is a message. Mm-hmm. A message? I don't know, Big B. I get complaints at the office all the time, but... Just what about this makes you think that? Whoever did this isn't exactly hiding it. The placement of the head, it's exact. Purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. All of us. Well, mm. yes. I guess you're right. The killer wanted us to know what they had done. I'm gonna have to talk Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He I'm tired of seeing this little head right here. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I know you don't like him, but he's Just our boss. Need to do. This is part of the job. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. I can't read Snow White. About it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's <laughs> not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Yeah. Who needs sleep? That was my friend. What are you blind? Why, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I don't have time for this. Yeah, you and all the rest of them in there. Oh. Oh. Fucker. Why am I being such a jerk? It's just tempting. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes. Oh, the flying ship. Do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Who else is to blame if not you? It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been oh, doing Ichabod. something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Yeah, her pen. Her... was she, uh... Yeah. She was worried about a money situation. Well, this is just wonderful. Not only is a fable killed, but it was a fable hooker to boot. 
You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes, sir. Call Vivian right this us. minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Oh. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. Dang. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. <laughs> Wine to a massage? Probably a gift. The weird part of that is that he's actually being nice to someone. I know I bought that damn bottle. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Oh. Who's this? Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. <laughs> How are you today, Mr. Bigby? It hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. Sorry. Eh, not your fault. Thanks for asking, though. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? I don't know how I want to play ones this. With all the fables in it. I'm not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. Apparently, I have to be nicer. According to the, the pig, Colin. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. The mirror? I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Oh my gosh. I feel better about her now. Oh! Hi, got some snow. Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps. Yeah, genie's been freed. So genie's out. Yeah, that's a worth a try. <laughs> it was. I question it only to you. This is Snow White's mirror. Hey, magic mirror. I got a question. Oh gosh. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. <laughs> Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. Mirror, mirror, uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See, was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Um, I don't know, I don't her, know name. her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do. I can't help you. Let's talk Show about me Snow. Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Show me Buffkin. <laughs> He's just having fun now. Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. <laughs> Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Oh. Show me the woodsman. Nobody right now. 
Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. What's her or name? Oh. <laughs> Buffkin is drunk. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. Is it just open to Snow White's story? Oh, it's Sleeping Beauty. I really love this art style. We'll what is start this? with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Who's this? Snow White, the Big Bad Wolf, and Beauty and the Beast. Whoa. Okay, in our community? Yeah, dwarves. The less said about that, the better. Yeah, that's me. Back when, uh, long time ago. I haven't seen him in a while. Well, that's how you looked when we met, remember? Yeah, I remember. Oh, yikes, yeah, so he's an animal that was able to turn and into a human. Him. The woodsman? Yep, and his axe. And the two of them. <laughs> I wonder what the story was. Beauty and happier days. Happier days. And her man, Beast. Funny. Colin and his brothers. <laughs> the headless horseman. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. Hmm. I've seen this before. What it's story is that? The man's clothes. It's the same as the rings. Could be her father or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. Hmm. I haven't seen Badger around. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad were like his a bit more. <laughs> nice hat. Anybody else I missed in here? Oh, that was a pretty cool little thing they did. All right, what's this? Oh, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Oh. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Buffkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. Spa time. This is the one. Where's this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alelairo? I'll go look it up. Alelairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> I prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Uh, his daughter, Faith. 
She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Whoa. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... Her name was Faith. Yeah. Yikes. We should talk to the husband. Hmm. You think he did it? Nothing would surprise me at this point. We can't rule him out. So wait, she had to die? Faith, donkey skin girl. Faith, otherwise known as a donkey skin girl, made it through the exodus from the magical homelands with the clothes on her back, her husband, and nothing else. She was once a beautiful princess, happily married to Prince Lawrence of a neighboring kingdom. Her life should have had a happy ending, but the mundane city of New York wasn't kind to her or her marriage. With no money, Faith found herself turning tricks to make the rent for a cheap apartment on the outskirts of Fableton. She had a difficult life, but she did what she had to do to survive in an unfamiliar world. Well, that's sad. All right, <clears throat> who else do we got? Colin. Colin is better known as one of the three little pigs. Back in the homelands, they were harassed by the big bad wolf, who blew down Colin's house of straw. After the exodus, Colin and the other fables who couldn't pass for human were sent to live on the farm in upstate New York. Unable to stand such a boring life, Colin constantly makes tricks to, um, to Fableton to bother Bigby. He is always caught and sends back to the farm, but he doesn't let that stop him. Ichabod Crane. Deputy Mayor of Fableton. Hailing from the haunted town of Sleepy Hollow, Ichabod Crane has been Deputy Mayor of Fableton for nearly 115 years. Crane is a bundle of nerves and takes his job very seriously, though that doesn't mean he always does it well. One of the Fableton's elite, Crane is often blind to the troubles of the less well-off citizens. Overall, Crane is authoritarian, cowardly, and always hiding something. Buffkin is the talking winged monkey from the land of Oz. It was a flying monkey. I didn't, you know, I didn't put two and two together. Now as Fableton's librarian, he spends his time reading and stealing a deputy mayor's booze. He's prone to mischief, so if when something goes wrong, he assumes he'll receive the lion's share of the blame. He's helpful when he wants to be, but most of the time he's rather drinking. He'd rather be drinking. Someone would have fired him a long time ago, but he's the only one who can seem to make sense of the filing system. That's amazing. Mundy's non-fable, short for mundane. Mundy is a catch-all term that fables use to refer to non-magical inhabitants of their adopted home. Warding spells placed around the blocks of Fableton and the farm keep their minds distracted and dull within certain boundaries. However, if anything should pique the curiosity of scrutiny of a large group of Mundys, these magical protection terms would overload and fail. As Sheriff of Fableton, one of Bigby's primary functions is ensuring the Fableton community maintains a low profile. Snow White may seem cold, but this stems from her life of mistreatment and abuse back in the homelands after escaping assault and imprisonment, not to mention an attempt of her life. On her life, she married Prince Charming. It wasn't long before Snow discovered that Charming cheated on her with her estranged sister, Rose Red, and she divorced him. After the exodus, Snow wa focused her attention on setting up a strafe haven for fables in the new world. She now serves as deputy of mayor. Wow, okay, so I had trouble reading that because I was just thinking, is Rose Red Red Riding Hood? Oh. Oh my. Yikes. So where to now?
So... Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Hmm. Show me... Show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Big it's simply the way this has to be. Huh. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. What's he been doing? Look at that sword full where of blood. Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Uh. I guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Who could Sorry, this be? I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I. He is. Hold on, Bigby. It's for you. Bigby, it's me, Poe. You there? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he. Oh, wait, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! What was that about? Uh -oh. Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Oh no, is that a bad choice? Whenever you're ready. Where are we gonna go? Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know, it's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help too. Well, where to first? Big, big shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Mm. Ugh, Toad's alive. Let's go to Toad's. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence after. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. Yikes. I hope I made the right choice. And we ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. It looks worse in the day. Oof. Is somebody up there? Hey! Wait here. I should have said nothing, but I got tempted. What a bust. I'm sorry! That's enough, all right? Just shut it! <laughs> I don't even remember half of this shit. Why are they fighting? We should probably get that fixed. What is this? Oh, because I pushed him into the wall. Eh. 
Adds charm. <laughs> hmm. The walls are paper thin here too. Yikes, this is gonna be bad. Is that his son? Toads, I think. Be nice in there, okay? Mm. Hey, Toad, you in there? <laughs> Big B and Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Mm. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. <laughs> Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. There was someone in there. Uh, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this, but thanks for coming. Much appreciated. We heard someone crying. Oh, the boy stubbed his toe on the bed frame is all. It stinks, you know, but it's nothing to kick he up. He is up to no good. A little tub swim, he'll be right as rain, I'm sure. Are you all right? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. Mm-mm. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing, but it was nothing, really. Someone was here, and something's going on. Just so this trip wasn't a complete waste of time, I'm gonna look around a bit before we leave, okay? The longer you talk, the longer this takes, so just stand over there and shut up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh-oh, uh, no. Have a, seat. have a cup of tea, whatever you like. Oof. Grown ups. Am I right? Uh. Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. <laughs> Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. Mm. What happened here? Now this happened. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. All the boy was faffing about, playing salts and saltfish. Who knows with the lad? Oh, I don't like this. Oh, <gasps> yeah, why was that like that? Your lock's busted, too. This place is falling apart. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, a fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. What is going on here? What's this? There's blood here. <laughs> it's just some wood rot. Not mold or anything. You bleeding? Why? Is that it's blood? Still fresh? Oh, well, I cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mavering now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Hooks have been a fable, I suppose. <laughs> oh, the frog. Oh, <gasps> there's more blood over here. On the poker? Yeah, 
What happened? Oh, well, that's... that's how it happened, didn't it? I was... I was poking the coals, and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. If you're gonna say something, out with it. Wait, you dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no, I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. I think maybe you're hiding something. Hiding something? Oh maybe. god. But, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. No, you're lying about something. But I'm not. And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. Mm. That more blood? No, just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Ah. Oh. Maybe one of Junior's toys or something. I mean, who knows? Oh, the lamp used to be there. Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running. Didn't stop the recycling. What's the point of all this, mate? Really? That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because it wasn't on that table, Toad. There isn't any room in the electric outlets. Huh? What are it you... It was plugged in over here, and now it's there. I, I did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? And not plug it in? Come on, Toad. I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. You see how many damn plugs there are? Is there any more over here? Mm. Though most people think they are. Uh-huh. How's it going? Toad's hiding something, but I don't know what yet. Did the kid say anything? No, nothing really. He was really upset, though, earlier. He won't say why. Hmm. Something's going on. Stay with the kid until I figure out why. Is it just time for like an interrogation now? I think I saw everything I could. Oh. Set. Junior leaves his toys around all the time. These don't look like they're from a toy. Oh, well, just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. <laughs> and I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. I have to piece it together. I don't have enough clues. The door you was... You heard uh, the new uh, Shaken Stevens album yet? You wouldn't need keys. You don't... Why don't you... Why didn't you let Junior in? Uh... Junior was home. Why didn't he let you in? It was the middle of a sodding night, Big B. I'm supposed to wake him because his jammy daddy didn't remember to check his pockets. Bigby, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. Mm -hmm. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... this sniffing around at me private belongings. 
I'm sorry I called. Really, I am. But will you please, please just bagger off? Not yet. Not yet? You say to my face that you think I'm hiding something from you. Well, you've had to go out of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? I can't get it out of him. This is all getting a bit stressful, all right? Please, just take it easy. I have my limit for bullshit, Toad. And I think we reached it ten minutes ago. Now, Dad! you're gonna tell me what's going on here, or I'm gonna start... Dad! Pigby, is this really necessary? Oh. oh, he's hiding something. Either something he knows or something he's kept, but I won't play any more games with him. Dad? Oh my god. Take off your hat. Pigby, you didn't... He didn't. <sighs> it was that butcher, I... A Tweedle, Dame or D. You gotta strip mm. them down to their Johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a whole morning, I could tell you that. What was he looking for? Well, I don't have a uh, I wish I didn't go that far. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, well, Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> borrows. I don't steal nothing. Turn around. <laughs> Honestly, mate. Oh, that was good. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. Now I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. Mm. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? Mm. Don't make it a dilemma. <laughs> oh my Doesn't god. seem right opening another man's mail. Let's try and give it to him. Okay. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. You're so shady. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. That could have gone so much better. I gotta work on my interrogation skills. I'll be honest, Bigby. I don't really know how to feel about what happened in there. We got what we came for. Some information. You'll be all right. So, the prince is now? Lawrence is. Yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. Right, Prince Lawrence's apartment. Oh, I hope we made the right choice going to Toad I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. When the magic mirror showed me this apartment, I think I saw a knife inside, covered in what looked like blood. 
I wasn't expecting that. Mm. Well, like I said, let's not overcomplicate things. You can question him while I look around for it. And if he objects? We are here on official Fable Town business, and we can be persuasive if necessary. Or you can. What's over here? <gasps> There's someone lying dead inside. We could go this way, but we also could go a little bit further. Nope. Don't just peep into someone's house. Check if he's home. Can you hear me? Making noise. I gotta stop making so much noise. Oh, it's a foul smell. Get Dr. Swinehart. I'll stay with you. No, him. no. Let me go. She. What is it that you're telling us? Bigby, water. Kitchen. Mosey on over, I guess. I'll look in the f the Sonic Sweet Pizza in the fridge. Please don't look. Did you find me. it yet? Yep, just moseying on over now. this to you <laughs> Faith Faith What? Do you still have that letter? Yes. Should I open it? I'm not sure if it's right. You should. It might be something that helps us. A clue. Or a lead. I need to know. What does it say? I'm sorry. Only two words, but he died without seeing them. I'm sorry, too. We need to figure out what happened here and find whoever did this. What? Someone's framing Faith and Prince Lawrence. Shot the bullet, bullet passed through the chair. Yeah, the angle works if he shot himself. What is that? Blood? 
strange. The hard edge to this pool, like something was here and got moved. Hmm. He was stabbed and shot. What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. Hmm. This is really complex. What is it? This gun wasn't fired recently. Maybe a week ago. Or more. Hmm. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. That doesn't really help. Does it not? Are you sure, Snow? What's this the dagger for? It's sharp. There's blood on the blade. Is that the same knife you saw in the mirror? Yeah. I don't know why it's over here. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? Did he kill himself? Or no? Hmm. Son of a... It stuck to the bed a little. My dearest Faith, I never meant to hurt you. I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love, your devoted Lawrence. So Faith didn't do this to him. Hopefully they're together now. About all we can hope for at this point. Secondhand paperbacks. Old encyclopedias. Dusty. So no one's read these in a while. Oh! Stay here! No! Hey! Stop! Leave me alone! Oh. Woo. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Oh, nice. Just jumping out of every window that I can. Oh, my gosh. Hello, Braden is the man 25. How are you doing? Welcome to stream. 
We're on the same side here. You... son of a bitch. Make me run after you. What is this? What were you doing back there? Had some questions for Larry. Didn't think... Ooh. Doing good. Brayden is the man. 25. How'd you find the stream? You see, a fan of this game. I gotta read my lore. Prince Lawrence, Faith's husband. After escaping the Holmans, Prince Lawrence and his wife, Faith, immediately fell victim to the harsh realities of the mundane world. Man, it's so sad reading about how they react to the actual world. They moved to New York hoping to find aid in a community of fellow Fables, but without enough money to live in Fable Town, they had to settle on an apartment on the outskirts of the neighborhood. Unfortunately, that meant they were out of sight and out of mind when it came to government assistance. Their prospects dwindling, Faith let Lawrence, left Lawrence to try to make it on her own. Now without his wife for support, Lawrence struggles with motivate so quickly sinks into depression. No! Dude, you're one of the people that read the book of fables. Oh my gosh, you mean like you did you did it? A man's dead. I know how it looks, but I had nothing to do with that. And who did? Look, I was just asking him about the girl. That's all. When I mentioned her being dead, he freaked out. I figured someone had told him. How was I supposed to know? Shit. Fucker shot himself right in front of me. I couldn't stop him, man. I like the people who do that. I'm sticking you around. Nice, Brayden. Right? Oh, you beat this game? He is. My guy says he's holed up at the trip trap. We can go over there right now, the both of us. My employer's looking to ask him a few questions, too. Who are you? What were you doing back there? Yeah, tell me what Checking you were doing. the guy who was married to the girl. Seemed a good place to start. Tracking down leads. What kind of leads? Oh, Ugh. I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand. Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on, you're coming with me. I need him to this work with me. This could have been easy. <laughs> Don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much you just easier. Just called me for dumb? You. I'm D. He's dumb. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh. He almost looked peaceful. Oh. <laughs> Oh, got me. Oh, my gosh. I like people who do that. I'm sticking around. Played episode one. I that's it. That's only one you've played. How did you find the stream then? You must be a fan of the game or something. He knocked you. He got me, Brayden. Can I call you Brayden, by the way? Dirty owl. Yeah. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yeah. Where'd they go? <sighs> well... After the one nice, guy hit Brayden. you, oh, you are a fan. finished kicking you. That explains the ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Are you going to play the other episodes? Guess we're out of options. He mentioned the trip trap. Then that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab. I love this detective trope, but like, honestly, like... You have to eat healthy to heal fast when getting this speed up all the time. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. I'm gonna try to get the game for my birthday. It feels yes. Like we're always a step behind. I know, I'm sorry, Richmond Snow, it's my fault. We've got. And he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. What other games do you play, Brayden? Be honest with me. Who do you think did this? I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. It's an uncomfortable oh. feeling. The guy, I mean guys who attacked me, D and Dumb, they've got something to do with all this. You think so? Okay, wait, a sidebar. I think it would be too easy for the, the lumberjack dude to do it. So, out of my options, it was Prince Lawrence. He loved Faith. I do believe that. I do believe 
that he shot himself in front of Tito Dum because of finding out that she was dead. My other option was uh, the what was this? the woodsman. And Blue, I don't, I mean, I haven't met Bluebeard, so it'd be kind of weird for it to be him. Ugh. Yikes. The Walking Dead, huh? I haven't played The Walking Dead before. I haven't even watched it. Is it a good game? The Tweedle Brothers, Dumb and D are thugs for hire. They appear human, allowing them to carry out their contracts in the Mundy world without drawing suspicion. They are, insep they are as inseparable as they are ruthless. Ugh, dang. I could see it being them, but maybe it's a different alibi. It's a pretty good game. Do you play any online games at all? Or are you a single player how, guy? Why just yet, but if you're asking, hmm, it's a hunch. Not as bad as I thought. You're I doing a really. Was... Oh. Sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's. It's nothing. I just. <gasps> I play Fortnite in GTA Online. Are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention. Um, I gotta hear that, but I wanted to say I played Fortnite and I'm just not good at it, Brayden. So I play Overwatch and Splatoon. I haven't played Splatoon in a minute, but Overwatch is like my main online game that I play. And GTA Online seems fun, but is it like everyone's just hitting and running each other? I haven't actually seen it before. It's gotta be funny. Into the residents of the Woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to prostitution. I I wish there was more we could do. This mm. isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. You'll fix it. Mm. I don't know. Oh, it's thank just goodness. just a broken system. She appreciated that. The fables that. who walk in through the back door, like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Turn you away. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. <gasps> I thought public service was pure. A way to help. You'll figure it out. You better I'm trying to help her cope. GTA is for chill dudes every once in a while. There will be a cheater, but they get kicked. What the heck? How do you cheat in GTA Online? And what are they doing when they cheat? Political stuff. Well, that's not saying much. I trust you to make the right decision. I hope you're right. Wow. Oh, like on level one hundreds. Yeah, maybe I should. Big B. I um, just be Tell careful, me. please. They got something going on. I went this approach with Faith and she died, so I don't know if I should.
Did you go to Lawrence's apartment first or Toad's place first? I went to Toad's place first. I feel like that wasn't the best option. What did you do? What do you want, Sheriff? Mm. I was in the neighborhood. Thought I'd pop in and say hello. Well, fucking hello. Now you can get the fuck out of here. Oh! Look, I'm not even gonna ask where he is now, okay? I uh. just wanna know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I'm being nice. So try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. Ah! <gasps> No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... I don't know. Does he tell you when to close, too? No, nope. and he doesn't tell me when to tell you to fuck Was going to Lawrence first uh, a good choice? Did it change a lot? Is this little red? He a regular? I don't know who you're talking about. The one with the bald head and the beard. I should have gone to Lawrence first, Never shouldn't seen I? Him. Never seen him. Whose is that? Someone who left. You save Lawrence if you go to him first? Someone like... The guy I'm looking for? No, I'm telling you. I haven't seen him for a couple days. Oh, the knife was already bloody, so I didn't think to go there. A lot of these walk out the door? Yeah, it's called advertising. <laughs> you get a refund? Fuck you. The word's <laughs> getting out. Dang. Does anything bad happen to Toad if you go to him second? Are those deviled eggs? Let me solve the mystery for you. They're pickled eggs. Oh, I know what they are. Oh, pickled eggs, my bad. Just nope. Just figure out why anyone would eat this. Dang, I went the wrong way. I didn't think it was the biggest deal, but then I caught on to something in the chimney. A lot of stools in this place. If I sit over there, I'm going to have to yell to talk to you. And I oh. don't like raising my voice. Unless I really have to. I'm playing this game all wrong, Brayden. You gonna order something? Or are you just here to bother my customers? You know <laughs> what I mean. Give me a Midas gold. You want a wine? No. No. Well, I don't got any anyway. <laughs> think that's funny? Yep. Think it's fucking hilarious. It was all right. Oh, he's tricking himself to a stupor. This is serious, Holly. Harboring a fugitive is going to get you in as much trouble as he's in. You could lose everything. Holly, you're out of paper towels in the... Well, these guys are arch enemies. Oh! <gasps> Saved your beer for you. 
Holly wanted to clear it, but uh, I said no. You'll be back. Now, here you are. You and me have been going at it for hundreds of years. I'm through fighting. Well, Woody, that makes two of us. Oh, my gosh. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. Not gonna say anything. Okay, Grim. Oh, that was a good choice. Like you could just pick a fight when you say something. You never know with the wolf. It's funny. Just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah. Well, everyone knows you. Big bad wolf. <laughs> well, I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. What kind of fucking world is that, huh? Come on, Woody. Mm. You know why I'm here. You want to know what happened? Amongst other things, sure. Oh, he but knows. It's funny. The shit you're willing to do for money. I Oof. walked past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it. She had money. Did you get this scene, Brayden? Sure. Any kind of fight. <laughs> I was gonna rob her. And the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are, fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I wasn't there to save her. So, you were planning on robbing her? Yeah, her and her grandma. Grandma? Wait, what are you talking about? Red Riding Hood. Her oh. Mother. I was there to rob him. But when I showed up, you were already there. Lying in the bed. I only saved her because I thought she might give me a reward. But she didn't give me shit. Except a bunch of people thinking I'm something I ain't. I played along as long as I could. Only thing I managed to get from it was a free drink every now and again. <laughs> a lot of good that did. What? Did you he kill did? Faith? What? Faith? Who's that? The girl you were beaten on this morning. No, 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 no. I, I was here. I it swear. It doesn't look good when a girl you were just smacking around shows up dead hours later. She's dead. Bigby, <laughs> listen, I, I'm a piece of shit, okay? I know that. I hit that girl. I did. I, I shouldn't have, but I didn't kill her. You believe me, right? They're gonna string me up, Bigby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. He was here. That's the fucking truth, Sheriff. You see? Bigby, please. Uh. You can't. They'll throw me down the witching well. That's what they'll do. And I didn't do it. You know that. What happened? Hey, stop! This isn't what I want! Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody! Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lapdog. When he comes sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Big B? It's not like that. Uh. Lapdog? Really? Haha, <laughs> because the wolf. Sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork. Waiting rooms and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. I wouldn't call her that. It's happened before and it doesn't end well. I didn't realize you were the bitch of the bitch. Oh, good. Oh. What is that? You walked out of here when you had the chance. Come on, you're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me. Whoa! Oh. Oh no. Oh! Where am I going? Where am I going?
Oh! Did she just take her makeup off? Stop! Oh my gosh! Oh, I missed that! gross oh my god what the heck Disney is this Take her makeup off. That's bad. Oh. Whoa. Ah. Sometimes they're kind of hard to find. What the heck is that thing? Hold up. Holly, Trip Trap owner. Holly is a no-nonsense kind of troll and the owner of the Trip Trap bar. She's glamoured to appear human, but her patrons know better. Holly takes good care of her regulars, often the downtrodden fables with little to spare. But she has no patience for the Fableton government that has done nothing to locate her missing sister. Holly? Who's Holly? Okay, Grendel. Drifter. Grendel just wants to be left alone. In the old days, he terrorized Norse mead halls, but lately he can be found occupying a stool in various quite dumpy bars around New York. He hates the noise of the city, but must work there to afford his glamour. Despite his gruff bearing, he's fiercely loyal to those who've learned to offer him the space and silence he desires. Talking to him is like watching a time bomb tick down. It's only a matter of time. Bigby's Mercy. In the days leading to the Exodus, the Big Bad Wolf hunted armies of men and goblins in the Black Forest. These invading forces had driven off the great beasts' preferred quarry, and their own flesh was rotten with corruption, hardly a suitable replacement. He made it his game to destroy their camps, devour their night watchmen, and disrupt their supply trains while sparing their prisoners. One day, he broke their ranks and discovered a particular woman white as snow. But... The hel they held captive. Her hair was white as snow, but her hair was dark as the night sky. He approached her, and she, knowing no sword could cut match the giant wolf's power, briefly placed her shackles in the beast's mouth. He freed her, but years would pass before the two would meet again in the Mundy world. That's crazy. Norse myth here. Whiskey. Double. Oh, just pour the whole bottle. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Shit. It's not like you were going to pay for it anyway. You already gave your money to Faith. How would I have known that? Don't if I even had money in the first back. place. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? If 
you run, it'll be worse. Trust me. Who's right. this? I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. Fuck. A girl named what? Who am I gonna go after? Oh no, take the woodman? Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. You said you wouldn't hurt me. You said you wouldn't run. Shit. Guy's covered in blood and you let him go? No one asked you. Uh, Come on. You're uh, under arrest. I what if you men work, man, like D? And dumb and D. Nothing to worry. Oh my god, Brayden, I thank you for your help. I couldn't decide. I wanted to go towards him, and I was like... Because he, he was already, like, suspicious when he saw it. It wasn't an opportunity. It wasn't... Suspicion. He was feeling caught. Do anything stupid, and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. Oh, All right. Man. That's my apartment. What is going on? We had something very special. Who else is involved? The girl with the coat. Serial killer. Oh, oh my. A serial killer? Oh God, it's one of us. Wait, the big fat guy's still walking the streets. I do play on a PlayStation, Braden. found out where she's been staying. I know she's here. You must have seen her. What are the two of you hiding? Thanks. I'm sorry. Doesn't matter. Maybe you just want to punch someone. Can I add you? Yeah, please do. I love having friends on PlayStation. What did you do? Friend on friend. At um, the end of the end. These are kind of working. Jeez. Smoke and mirrors. Oh my gosh. I'm so sad it was Snow White. Oh yeah, you get to review choices. I love that. Okay. Did you give Faith your money? 84.5% of players give Faith your money. Mm-hmm. My money. Did you tell Beauty, the Beast the truth about Beauty? You and 19.5 tried to stay out of it. So what did the other people do? Where did you decide to go first? You and 69.2 wanted to help Toad before Prince Lawrence. So I'm with the majority, but that sucks. What happened to Prince Lawrence? You did not prevent Prince Lawrence's death. Yes! Who is your prime suspect? You and 15.3 players pointed your finger at the Tweedles. 
Who's this? I don't. Ha I didn't have the second up. The the, the third one. The third down there. The third down there. Who did you arrest? When it came down to the wire, you and thirty one point three players grabbed the woodsman. Wow. Oh my gosh. I am shooketh. I am so shooketh. So if you go to um trophies now. Oh, you get to see all these here. Unlock all book entries. So I missed something. I bet it was preventing Prince Lawrence's death. I wonder how much that would change too. That sucks. That sucks that that happened, Braden. I'm so sad. So you kept Prince Lawrence alive. Did that change a lot of your game? Also, a light snowfall. That's so sad. Everyone I try to get close to dies. The long goodbye. No. Wow. Yes, it did, Derek. I know. <sighs> that blows, dude. That blows. Okay. Well, this is a fabulous place for, for look, place for me to end stream today. Uh, but I feel fuzzy knowing that, like, blurry that that just happened. I just wonder if Snow White could have been alive. Brayden, thank you so much for the follow. Brayden is the man 25. When you check those credits, you're going to see your name pop on up. So my name is Elfion. Anyone new, Brayden, you right there. Um, I am streaming on Sundays and Mondays, usually Mondays, and as well as Thursdays occasionally and sometimes Saturdays. So my schedule's a bit all over the place since it's summer, but living the dream. Um, so I'll be doing this again next stream for sure. I'm flipping scared of what's gonna happen because I didn't expect it to be this grim, which is exactly what they wanted, huh? A grim brother's tale by adios brayden everybody else have a great rest of your week adios and the ciao